Hello, Capricorns. I don't look as good as I did yesterday, but that's okay. We're so cute. We're so good. Dang, dude, the wind outside is just, it's banging off this uh, wall. It is big. It is crazy. Okay. Let me just tell you that I have pulled, like, almost all the cards already because I just wanted to do a Capricorn reading and, and work with my cards and get my energy on them and, oh, loving it, loving it, loving it. You just don't even know. Okay. So, let there be light, first of all. Let me just say, Capricorns, you have all four kings in this reading. If you keep hearing this, this bird noise, this is my child in the background. Okay. They're just trying to get through homework in a positive way because, you know, I'm the bad guy who's making them do it. Anyway, let's get back to this arrow. Okay. Okay. So. I'm going to flip it around. So this is your lovely spread, which is absolutely stunning. And what is your outcome it is also a king. But there is four freaking three other kings there there and there in your reading okay so um and then your overall energy is this little pile here i already pulled a few cards out of that and then this is at the bottom of the deck that's at the bottom that's at the bottom and then that's at the bottom which is actually fucking resonating well because dude i flushed i flushed oh my god i'm gonna just lose it i shuffled these okay and it still came back to the end of the deck so it's obviously supposed to be there and then this is a new deck that I've been shuffling and it has shown up number 31 partnership and they are parrots as well. And we have Juno and we have the word partnership. So I will say that this has to do with a partnership and whether that means you have like four Kings fighting for you, Capricorn, however that resonates, you do have soulmate energy going on here. And, um, I think that someone wants to work towards something with you, with a partnership, because, um, with your guide messages here that helps with your guide oracles you have work um that's the only one i've read so far i'll read the other ones in a minute um and we'll shuffle those uh that was just me playing with them but that is off the bottom of the deck and it says you are never alone in it it is two otters in a heart oh it's like seriously such loving energy two 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 how cute is everything oh my goodness and like these two lovers here oh shit okay capricorn you ready <laughs> oh wait this is the other deck okay also confirming double clarification um so far with that one um not sure about that one yet that is the ace of cups and then you have the ace of cups is there um in your main spread with the other deck as well so let's get started i am excited that i already started it because oh to blow through it quickly and to read the energy is beautiful already i'm freaking pumped so pumped okay capricorns that's that's how it's going to be all right so first of all what is the best part is you are the present situation you're you're literally your own current energy this is you your present situation here is that you are caring supportive loving you're in your queen of pentacles energy very nurturing very attractive very loving um i mean seriously amazing that you seriously are the present energy now capricorns you also have the positive or negative in negative influence um, this is positive. This is success. This is where maybe you are going to maybe, I don't know whether it's success in love, success in being nurturing, success in healing, success in being independent and making money because you're an earth sign and you are a queen of pentacles, which is finance, stability, security, money. Um, and the six of wands is fire energy. You have like this fire to maybe be successful or make money or However it resonates, you're, you want to be successful. Maybe you have some burning ideas of creativity and inspiration going on right now. And they are going to actually be triumphant for you. They're going to benefit you in very successful ways. And I'm, I'm getting money. Now, the base of your situation is that there is love going on here. Um, so the base of your entire reading is that you are either thinking about love to a point that you are manifesting it in. Or someone is literally in love with you capricorn but i see with me doing your energy your reading okay i'm not really asking for their energy yet but if they show up and i feel like it's their energy then okay you could just be in your queen of pentacles energy and like i said if if you're in a very attractive successful energy which would be that six of wands there you have this ace of cups coming in which is a 
huge brand new beginning major arcana in love this is pisces cancer scorpio and this is a major arcana again ace of cups so huge overflowing cup of love coming in for you um <clears throat> whether that be you know you pouring that into yourself or someone coming in being very very in love with you in love with your energy in love with how caring and supportive and nurturing you are um I think they, you know, truly see the, the beautiful things and the, all the good aspects of you, Capricorn. And come on now, you're the goat. <laughs> now, what is in your past energy is amazing to me. I think that things that were uninspiring are no longer a part of your life. And now you're going to take inspired action. You're not going to have any lack anymore. This is in your immediate past to where you are done being bored, uninspired, unsuccessful. Now you have this burning burning eclipse energy i don't know if the solar eclipse is helping that or what here um but you do have fire energy again which means you're about to like i said be super creative and you're very passionate about what you want to do and whether this is someone absolutely loving you okay and bringing in like the passion and you're really attracting love right now and maybe at one point you were not in this flow of loving energy to attract things in a high vibration and so you were not inspired by love by by anything good by by anything fun by socializing by by being creative or taking action at what you wanted and now that's all changing like whether someone's inspiring you whether you're inspiring yourself you have two major arcanas ace of cups ace of wands so you have the magic wand to seriously do whatever the hell you want to if you have a creative idea um and you want to i don't know or you have like a, a new job opportunity or a creative um side craft that you want to do um or you could just seriously be very passionate or attracting a lot of passion and compassion from people right now that want new beginnings in love and that are like fiery and passionate so again though you will not be having this lack you're not going to lack love you're not going to lack creativity you're not going to lack not taking the action you need to to do the things that you want to pursue in your life and i think what's awesome is your next card um <clears throat> so in your past energy you're leaving the uninspired things that are not for your highest good in the past now what is in your crowning thoughts beautiful this is so beautiful. The King of Swords is literally your crowning thoughts. What does that mean? If you are in this King of Swords energy, okay, and it's not a love offer, but it can be because I'm not going to lie, in your crowning thoughts, there is a Gemini, um, uh, a Libra, Aquarius energy here that we have with the King of Swords. And it is coming after an ace of, of like an ace and another ace and of love and inspiration so maybe somebody truly does love you um that could be a air sign um that may want a new beginning with you or a new fiery beginning because if this is only coming after the ace of wands i would say that it's just somebody who may be attracted to you not someone that's in love with you or it would be in between the two major arcanas and it's not but i don't feel like it is a love option but if that is resonating with you and that is what you think is happening in your crowning thoughts that you think maybe okay that there is a gemini libra aquarius uh that you know and maybe you know you feel a connection you know that there is attraction or that they like you or they flirt with you or whatever that may be but i, I don't believe it's, it's it's love i believe it's fun um so however that resonates for somebody i mean you know friends with benefits I'm, I'm not telling anyone how to live their life but i feel like this is you being in your power i think that male or female that you have stepped into your king of swords energy which is gemini libra aquarius energy which you are now in your power to where you can think clearly enough to make way better decisions choices however that resonates okay because the king of swords is all about the logic the knowledge the mental the the thoughts that you have that i believe at one point were not clear enough for you to make now we have your present your influence your base your past and what is in your crowning thoughts now what is in your immediate future is you will no longer be in your fucking you you're not going to restrict yourself and have lack anymore you're not going to be in a mental prison any longer because when the king of swords is here and this is what your crowning thoughts are you're strong enough to be like you know what i'm gonna wipe the chaos and the worry from my mind i'm not gonna stay in this mental prison and obsess over things that are tearing me down they're not for my highest good they're actually just making me want to cry and i am 
restricting myself from anything positive. I'm not attracting positive things. I'm not doing positive things. And um, I don't think you're going to stay in this mental prison ever again. You're like, you know what? I have mental clarity. I've stepped into my king of swords, my power, whether I am female or male. And I'm not going to stay stuck in my head and the mental chaos any longer, which is amazing energy, okay, for um, your immediate future. Your immediate future is you're going to have such mental clarity, beautiful energy. Okay, so now let's get into um, your fears. Okay, I do want to talk about this. I already had the energy before this reading, so it, it, it's good that I already went over it. Um you are lacking okay this is where the lack is or maybe this is the fear this is okay this is in your fears position so i'm gonna say it like it is this is what will make you powerless is by fearing poverty this is the four of pentacles this is earth energy this is um capricorn taurus virgo energy so let's just say okay you're holding on to you know the little bit of money that you do have sometimes and you're 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 holding on to it so tightly that you're fearing spending a dime spending a penny spending anything like oh my goodness i will just not be able to pay this bill and i'm so stuck and worried that i'm it's consuming me it's consuming you and that is why you've been in this mental prison um i, I don't think you're going to be in that mental prison any longer this is in your fears and you're fearing like how am I going to have enough money for the future? How am I going to make it in this world? I just want to scream. It's really hard to deal with. Um, and the Four of Pentacles just means you, you're holding on a little bit too tight. You don't have to worry so much, Capricorns. You're, you're fearing poverty. And that is one of the biggest fears the entire human race freaking has. Now, I want you to see how people are viewing you. There, okay, there is, now this is where your options are coming in, okay? And this is where I feel love. I feel so much love. There is a king of pentacles that is viewing you with respect. They're viewing you as, I think, very strong for overcoming the things you've overcome. I think that they may have a lot of love coming in for you, or they want to help you out maybe financially and stable, stability-wise. Um, But I do believe that this is definitely a love option here. This is how someone's viewing you as... Okay, your counterpart. We do have the king and queen of pentacles here, which is a divine match. Beautiful, loving energy. Um, I would say that this person respects you and people respect them as well. Um, they would definitely come in being very earthy, like you, Capricorn, supportive, caring, nurturing, but, but more serious because they're very responsible instead of out of control with emotions. You know, they're very responsible, secure, making that money focused. Um, so you have a really good person coming in as a love offer that is seriously eyeing you up, viewing you, watching you. Um, this is how someone sees you. This is amazing. It's, it's beautiful energy. Okay, now what is in your hopes? I think that in your hopes position... You're either, okay, this is either, okay, this is another king. This is the king of wands, so this is Sag Leo Aries energy, but I believe that this is your energy as well. I think that you, you want to have this integrity and you want to be in, okay, this is in your hopes position. So I think that you want to have fiery Leo strength, strength enough to where if you are in the king of wands energy you're so responsible yourself that you have enough money enough bread enough willpower enough wisdom enough um how do i want to say it passion to literally take care of your family and everything around you being very very responsible strong enough to do it all and um if that's your energy capricorn that is amazing so if that's what your hopes are Stay in that positive energy, and I think you're going to seriously succeed at what you want. Your outcome here is the king of cups, which means someone is definitely in love with you. You do have a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, possibly, as a second love option I'm getting. I feel like, okay, these are your for sure love options here, which would either be a water sign or an earth sign. Potential love options or offers here that are in your reading would be um, an air sign and a fire sign, but I believe those are your energies. So I'm going to say it like it is. I'm not going to make up a story here for you. Um, I, I, I wish you had, you know, all the Kings in love with you right now, but right now <laughs> I think there's only two of them. Okay. But your outcome here is that somebody loves you. Somebody who could either be a water sign or just clarifying that this is the type of energy that they're in, which is King loving energy. Someone who definitely is going to come in and express how empathetic and compassionate and how connected and emotional maybe they feel towards you and how much they truly do love you. 
Um, and that is your outcome. So now your overall energy. Let's go over that. We have... Damn. Okay, we have the Five of Wands. So let's see what's next. So that is conflict. Oh, damn. Okay, we have the... The Eight of Cups. Four of Wands. Hold on, I have to remember what this card is, okay? I'm slowly getting to know this deck. It is the Queen of Pentacles. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we do have two Divine Matches, and then we have the Two of Cups, which is Soulmate Energy. I, I told you. It's either an Earth sign or a Water sign, but it is a Divine Match, okay? And there is competition here. Okay, what does... Hey, look, look, look. The main word on this damn card is competition, and there is only two two kites fighting. And I said you had two options here. <laughs> So there may be like, I don't know, Capricorns, are you attracting a lot right now? Are you like really, really fiery, sexy, and gorgeous? And like, I don't know, man, you must be showing it well, Capricorns, male or female, because you have either, you know, whether you're male or female, we all have masculine and feminine. So whether you have um, a male or female coming in for you, whichever you prefer, you have an earth sign or a water sign regardless. They are definitely going to fight for your love. I don't know if you're very serious right now about a relationship, Capricorn, and maybe that is the thing here. Maybe you're focused on healing, being supportive um, to your family, getting your strength back, um, being creative, and but at the same time, you're maybe so focused on responsibility and looking like a woman and handling shit like a woman. I don't know how to explain this in any other way. Or a man, like a, a real man, like a mature, responsible honey, I want to marry type of thing. <laughs> um, if that's the energy you're in, Capricorn, people are going to fight for you because they can see how talented you are, how you maybe come back from hell and f keep on fighting, keep on going, keep on healing. Um, they see that you're stable, um, that you're creative. People are drawn tor towards you for some reason, Capricorn. But um, I do want to say that there is Eight of Cups energy here. So Someone is definitely going to be left out in the cold, unfortunately, because, you know, I mean, you can have both options, but that is definitely playing some head games with people. But either someone's going to walk away from the situation, Capricorn, because they have tried maybe many, many times to offer their love to you, or this is you walking away from the past and some past energy showing up here. Or there's two people here is kind of how I'm seeing it. Like, and I'm seeing the two people on that card and it's like, okay, Capricorn, with this Eight of Cups... There has to be a separation and you may just have to walk away, you know, from one of these people or they may walk away from the situation if they feel like they're in competition for you. Um, like they may put up a fight for a while and keep trying to pour their love in, but eventually the Eight of Cups is where someone hurts bad enough emotionally and is so disappointed in the outcome that they, they have to walk away. They have to, you know, just, there is that song coming in my head, let her cry, let her cry. Oh my goodness. I think it's like Hootie and the Blowfish or whoever sings that song. You have to let her cry. Um, oh my goodness. Or let him cry, however it resonates. And then we have beautiful energy. We have celebrations. You have the marriage card or a stable relationship long term or a firm foundation home. So you do have more fire energy coming in. And that means somebody definitely sees you as like the one. If this is how they see you as marriage or they see you as a home or they feel so connected to you that you feel like home. I mean, you are in a very supportive Queen of Pentacles energy. You could seriously be making somebody go crazy right now. Like, they feel like, I don't know, your energy could make them really happy, Capricorn. You could make them want to dance and sing and feel like they're celebrating because they just found you. Um, and then over here, we do have double clarification. Oh, I'm pulling it. So behind that, I'm pulling it, and I'm pulling it. Oh my goodness, I will stop right there. But oh yes, we are pulling these four cards because they're all like amazing. Um, This is double clarification. This is the four of wands as well in that other deck. So it's definitely clarifying somebody or both people may want the same thing. They may want, you know, long term or firm foundation or a celebration of being with you. I, I don't know how that, however that resonates with you, but double clarification with that card as well and double clarification with how much you're attracting overflowing love and abundance is coming in for you with these major arcanas um 
very loving energy. And are you ready for what was behind that? The 10 of pentacles. Okay. And then the king of cups. So that is why I was like, okay, double clarification with that king of pentacles. And then this might as well be the same clarification as having the king of swords. If it's in your energy and you're about to have a brand new mental, logical, clean slate, you're going to think clearly and not irrationally, not, not chaotic. You're going to think with clarity. This is double. This is another major arcana of clarification and you now have three aces going on that is saying there are so much beautiful things for you coming capricorns um mental clarity overflowing amounts of love you are going to be creative attractive and passionate you are also in your um supportive caring energy and and let's let's just keep going capricorn okay the two cards that are left here okay is the queen of pentacles and the two of cups Need I say more? When you are already in a supportive loving energy, which is the queen of uh, pentacles, which is your current situation, your present situation, your energy, period, point blank, okay? You are in so much more loving energy than I thought. And I did say at the beginning of this that maybe you're healing yourself a little bit, pouring some love into yourself a little bit. You absolutely are. And when you do that and you're focused on, you know, everything that is good in your life and what you're supposed to be doing, like discipline and structure and you're not just having all this fun you're actually being a little responsible instead of just i'm gonna do whatever i want to and then a little bit lazier um you're you're also healing at the same time like people don't just see you as lazy capricorn they see you as even when you are lazy you're still trying um you're still supportive you're still loving you're still always just if you ever get in your emotions which i would mm -hmm. say would be the queen of pentacles you're just healing from things from your past i think and but people can see you as so nurturing empathetic compassionate you put yourself and in other people's shoes in their situations you actually listen to what they're saying and you actually emotionally connect and can understand them and give them good advice and love them like loving advice and support they will feel right back and we do have that one of these options you have, Capricorn, is definitely going to be your soulmate. Otherwise, you can have multiple soulmates. So remember that friendships, family members, your own children. Um, uh, how else? Friends that feel like boyfriends or girlfriends, they can feel like soulmates. They can feel like someone you've known your whole life that is just seriously the other half of your beautiful soul. And I mean, just we can still pull this lovely thing it just makes me think of two mirrored souls that is literally clarifying and that's the lover's card so we can just clarify that you're attracting love and a soulmate right now um and at the bottom of the deck here we have transformation you have the death card so and the three of cups see you are definitely attracting things here this is such a beautiful ending this is amazing and then we had partnership over there we had the parrot we we have to read the parrots so in the other two oracles but let's let's finish out your reading here capricorn with the fact that once you have had this rebirth this you have went from being like the soulless i don't care about anything vessel to starting to care about yourself pouring love into yourself healing having a rebirth and then maybe being able to be nicer kinder more loving and empathetic and towards others as well and yourself so these people see you healing they see the transformation they see the change and then once the change happens you will be attracting your soul tribe your soul family harmony um i want to say harmonious unions harmonious unions is keeps on coming out i have to freaking remember this harmonious unions um so beautiful, loving relationships full of overflowing love and support. Soul tribes, soulmates, however that resonates for you. This is amazing. Amazing, amazing. All right, now let's read your cards here, Capricorn. You have this beautiful card. We have number 20. And it says work. I believe that your guides, your spirit guides are working with you right now to help you have growth, healing, learning, as we are on this journey, we're always learning, we're always making mistakes, and we're always changing, and everything never stays the same. It's always consistent flow. But sometimes we need to plant fresh seeds, open new doors, close old ones, and I think that the universe is helping you work towards having something better, planting seeds. And I believe that you're going to work towards your create creativity with this card, because it's giving me your your uh, your wand energy, the creative, the creative energy, I can say it, all right? Um... 
with your ace of wands energy like this is growth this is passion this is maybe you have like the Midas touch I'm getting as well like you can help things grow maybe you are one of those earth angels um earth signs are very good at getting healing from the earth and giving it back um especially if you're in a good high vibration but I think that you know your your guides are going to help you work towards everything that you need to work on relationships growth every single thing now your other two cards, okay, not other two, your other four cards, <clears throat> we have 22, which is unconditional love. Okay, so your guides are telling you that you are divinely supported, and we have had, I think, 333 three, three here. Where else do I have that? The three of cups, where is it? The three of the three, the dolphin, there we go, okay, the three, the harmony, okay, this is making me think of the three of cups that we got out with the dolphins, the soulmate, um, the soul tribe, um, soul sister, soul brother energy that you have coming in, it's going to be unconditional love, but at the same time, this is more support than you could ever ask for, Capricorn, it's not just... Okay, the first card with the Three of Cups, this is like the support you're going to receive in the, like the human form. This is your guides. This is source. This is ancestors. This is angels. This is how many other people are just coming in front with unconditional love to support you on your, your journey, on your soul's journey. You have so many ancestors or angels guiding you along the way. You have nothing to worry about. You have beautiful energy um, going on. You're attracting really beautiful energy. I think that with that being said, um, you're divinely protected. So let's go on. You also have 33. Look at that, guys. Did I say it or did I say it? <gasps> okay, we're just going to say it because look at that. Okay, three, three, three. Bam. It's like I knew it was coming out. There's the intuition. Now, this says that your guides are telling you that you need to rest so that you can shine brighter as my intuition is saying it. It says rest at the bottom, but we have the sun on this card like it is the sun card. And three means harmony, prosperity, sun, beautiful, beautifulness, like um, abundance, joy, um, three also can mean, like, dragonfly or, um, hummingbird spirit, like, pure joy is coming from this card, and then the sun energy, no matter what, is coming off this card, that once you get rest, you can vibrate at your highest self, and your guides want you to know that, so there is that beautiful message. Now we have number 46 as well. Please, if you want to play the lottery, I would like you to write them down. We have number 20, 22, 33, 46, and 26. All right, now let's get back to your... Alright, now it's just saying, look, you already have the Eight of Swords in your flippin' energy that is saying, you know, you're no longer going to stay in that energy because you know what it's like when you're overthinking. And this says nature spirits at the bottom, which is actually like saying something different. Um, instead of it being a healer or a teacher or a helper guide, it is a nature spirit. So you may have like... I don't know what to think here. I'm getting like energy from trees or something like the energy from the earth may be like alive as if like it was like reincarnated, like how someone ha like would pass away, turn into like a piece of the earth from reincarnation from years ago. This is some crazy shit. Um, but it's saying that nature spirits are telling you that overthinking, if you start to overthink too much to go into nature, to heal, to tap into your your third eye they're pointing to on here and look at the roots look at how you can literally ground yourself and have growth and open your crown wide open and instead of overthinking you can think clearly i hear um i can think i can see clearly now the rain is gone <laughs> okay so um with this lovely energy um I think the, I mean, this is inspired new ideas, this is growth, this is blooming, this is blossoming, this is amazing transformation, and you're not going to overthink anymore, as long as you keep connecting to nature, to spirit, to your healers, to your teachers, to your guides that are helping you, source, spirit, the people that are giving us the answers right now, okay? <laughs> All right, now your last card is number 26 for your guide oracles, and it says balance. So I'd say that you have some guides that are telling you that you need to have some balance. And I would say that, that if that's coming right after overthinking, then you know what you need to do. You need to ground yourself. You need to stop overthinking. You need to stop worrying so much and you need to find some balance. That means to uh, exercise, get rid of the energy that's stored up inside of you that's making you feel like crap. Um, stop eating so much sugar, drinking so much caffeine. I promise you, you're going to freaking feel better if you listen to me. All right, so... The universe has plenty of beautiful messages for you. Listen. 
Listen to the universe. Okay, um, what else do we have here? Um, all right. We have number 31 at the bottom of this deck, which is that parrot card. And it says Juno. And it says partnership on it. I just believe that you are literally welcoming in, again, a mirrored image, a soulmate, and there's going to be beautiful partnership. I think that, the, okay, with parrots, I'm getting communication with my intuition. Parrots talk a lot. They communicate. They talk. So I believe that if you're going to be in a communication with someone who is just like you, your yuns are going to be very loving, very communicating. Um, that means you're going to be very compatible because the three things you need to be compatible to have a high relationship is high in love, sex, and com communication. Like high in like love, like, like how do I want to say it? Um, there's always communication, okay? And if this is really high in communication and that is an amazing thing to help you guys with everything because if you don't tell each other how you feel, if you don't work through your problems, how can you have a, a lasting relationship that is fruitful, worthy? Don't waste your time, you know, if you're not going to put the efforts in that yuns want to put into each other. Let's get you an animal spirit now. For Capricorn, please, and thank you, animal spirit, please. You have wolf spirit. The ch it says, turn knowledge into wisdom. Beautiful message, okay? What did I say? I mean, if yuns are even going to communicate, maybe you will share the wisdom you've learned in past relationships and past love lives and past whatever. You're going to communicate and be able to handle things very loving, very well. Water energy, earth energy, that is seriously balanced out with your emotions and grounded stability here. At the bottom of the deck, it has, we have 44, you're divinely protected, I told you. Um, it, we have panther spirit, reclaim your power Capricorn. So all I'm going to say is take your freaking power back. If you feel like you lost it, my sweethearts, remember that you are that fucking goat. And the parrot spirit that is at the bottom of the deck, we're going to read this as well. And it says, dude, see, it says communication. Am I not your humble tarot reader? Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right. It says life expresses itself in many ways. Humor is only one of them. Maybe who you're going to be with is going to be like somebody of humorous, uh, very funny when you're in maybe a downer energy or you reversed. You could be doing the same and you guys could maybe just cheer each other up and realize the beautiful love and the beautiful connection that you guys have and always work through things with positive communication. Whoever is coming into a new relationship right now, it's going to be very beautiful. I mean, it's freaking wild. Okay. Um, I was going to die. What, what, how much time are we on? We're on 32 minutes. Um, I will pull you one more from this one and we'll see what astro message do we have oh my goodness we have the fourth house message and we have home again it might as well be the four wands but tell me that is not beautiful colored the fourth house is an amazing it is where you feel safe it is where you feel protected it is where you feel like home i told you you have the four of wands two times and now this is your third confirmation you're in your fourth house right now. You're, you're, someone is either buying a home, looking for a home, wanting a, a long-term foundation that feels like home, wanting a connection that feels like home, wanting a relationship that's long-term. Um, again, this could possibly mean marriage. Um, otherwise, just however it resonates. But holy crap, beautiful energy for your astro messages. And those numbers, you have 31 and 42 and 67 and 44 play a cash five with those is what I'm saying. I'm not kidding. Did I just say that? Or did I just say that? 31, 42, 67, and 44. Go play your freaking cash five. Um, and then we have 14, 14, 14, three, three, four times, four times you have the number 14, but okay, Capricorn, this is where I close it out. Peace and love. You're going to have an amazing soulmates, whoever you choose to have as your person. Um, you're in amazing energy right now. Stay in it. I send you my love and light. Remember that you have guides that are giving you plenty of beautiful messages. If you need to go back, go back. Bye, guys.